Hello. In this video, I will describe our two-day stay in Oahu Island in Hawaii. I'm hoping it can be useful to you if you are considering a trip there. Our full vacation consisted of nine days, which was split as three days in Oahu and the rest in Kauai. This turned out to be a great idea as Oahu and Kauai are two extremes of Hawaii and we appreciated the contrast. A return flight between the islands is about $150. We spent our first day exploring Waikiki. Naturally, the first stop was the Waikiki Beach. While this beach is very scenic and great for surfing, we were a little disappointed that it was not very good for swimming. The water is mostly shallow and there were many more sharp rocks than we expected on the bottom. <laughs> After some attempts at swimming and some time spent studying strange trees, we headed to the end of the beach to check out the Honolulu Zoo. The zoo is fairly nice and comprehensive, but most animals we saw, such as these turtles and lions, were hiding from the sun and asleep. We had more luck at the Waikiki Aquarium, which was only a few minutes away and was much cheaper. Here we saw beautiful coral reefs, exotic fish, squids, sharks, an octopus, and transparent floating things. Afterwards, we headed back to the city. Waikiki is a very touristy place and consists almost entirely of shops, restaurants, and souvenir shops. At night, Waikiki turns into one huge party on the streets. We rented the car on the second day and decided to explore Honolulu's surroundings. Our first stop was the Hanauma Bay, which is a beautiful beach only half an hour from Honolulu. The beach was very nice, but snorkeling was, unfortunately, underwhelming and rather boring. We continued down the road to the beach that would become the absolute highlight of our trip, the sandy beach. This beach is known for having huge waves and in fact swimming is strongly discouraged because of the strong currents. But being the athletic and fearless people that we are, we ignored the lifeguard's warnings and worked our way into the waves slowly. Jokes aside, I should say that I do have experience with large waves and how they break. We spent several hours on this beach getting mercilessly thrown around in the waves against the sand. It was a lot of fun, but it's definitely not well suited for most people. <laughs> oh my God. Exhausted and beaten, we continued on the highway to the beach near the city, Waimano. This beach was beautiful and had it all. Crystal clear waters, white sand and palm trees. A perfect place to recharge. Feeling a bit better, we drove back towards Honolulu so that we can catch the one mile hiking trail to Manua Falls before sunset. It is amazing how quickly the scenery changed from little residential houses to a deserted deep bamboo forest. We hiked up the steep slopes until at the end we reached a waterfall. It is a very nice hike. From there, it was finally back to Waikiki because we were flying early next day to Kauai. I've put up a video about our stay there as well. Mahalo for watching and have fun on your trip! <laughs>